Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Today we are going to see how to do a paint or remove task in Silot. So here I have a footage. This footage is pretty interesting because we are having here a kind of defocus animation in the first frame and it is traveling through the ranges like in last frame the defocus is somewhat different. So also we can notice like the defocus is starting from screen right and it is traveling to the screen right. So this is a pretty interesting task which will take some work if you are doing in Nuke uh, in a prep kind of style. So I will show you an, e an easy method which is in there in Silhouette using some tools. So taking a paint node, the basic one, the important one. Okay. And we have the clone tool here. So if we press control, we can scale up the brush or you can press shift to offset the patch offset the source of the patch so i'm just uh, creating a clean plate here so yeah i'm just doing it roughly for the tutorial kind of purpose if you are doing a production level of shot you should do it according to the lighting according to the uh, texture everything you have to be careful while doing the patching or while doing the clean plate okay i'm just doing it roughly you can take the source from the upper side also to match the lighting but also we can see some artifacts or yep okay i'm just gonna delete this paint node and because i have already done a uh, clean plate and kept so this is the one so i will just connect that into the input okay now we can see like yep now we can see a, a clean plate for the patch of the eyes so it is already only in this frame so our job is to just track this clean plate or do the prep for that uh, cleanup area so for that i will just go and use a tracker instead of that i have a ofx plugin of mocha pro in my slot i will show you how mocha pro standalone i mean ofx plugin will help you in work it's very easy if you if you guys have a mocha pro plugin or ofx so here we have some modules and all i will just explain uh, all those in a detailed video later also we have the properties of mocha pro i will just explain all these things later again okay, later in a tutorial we just want to click on this launch okay launch option so uh, you don't have to directly save the mocha pro or load the footage into the mocha pro it's already done so this is pretty easy right just click on the launch button and your footage is ready to track so i'm just seeing how we can track the uh, movement of the eyes or the area where we are gonna do the patch so it's very important to analyze the footage also just make sure the frame range matches okay so just go into the classic mode and type in 50 so that the original frame range matches the silhouette i mean uh, mocha work range Okay, some kind of weird issue it's not happening just give me a sec okay okay so that footage is trimmed and our first frame is 50 now so now we are gonna track the footage for drawing a spline for tracking we have some set of new tools magnetic tools also easier is here also we have the airbrush so I'm just taking the airbrush and increasing the size. You can increase the uh, size of the brush here. Also, you can press the square brackets for increasing or decreasing the size of the brush. I'm just increasing it like this much for making the. I'm a bit easy to draw a shape, so I'm just using the airbrush and drawing a mask over here. Okay, done. Now just click on this selection arrow. Yep, your shape is ready you can tweak it if needed if you guys are uh, not happy with the shape you can just uh, tweak the shape this this airbrush tool is very easy for uh, tracking because you don't want an exact shape for tracking so sometimes it's getting messy okay you can edit it you can keep it nicely so right now the shape is ready i'm just gonna use subsurface to um, align the track into the planar surface for the eyes so use the subsurface okay i'm just adjusting that here okay this is a fantastic method to like if you want to track 
you have to definitely you have to set a planner surface uh, for the tracking okay so yep now i have set it planner surface okay this is done almost i'll tweak this four corners a bit so that it sits perfectly okay now this is almost perfect okay i'll just move on the tracking we can click on this and the footage is tracking okay so now the footage is tracked we have got a nice track here right so i'm just going to take this track into silot which is pretty easy in the ofx version we have options here export tracking that and in the export tracking data we have a new option silot corner pin okay which is pretty useful and here we have the copy to clipboard also we can save the track just click on just click on the copy to clipboard and save it and just take a tra tracker node as usual like uh, go into the nodes take a tracker node okay connect that into the input i'll just arrange it connect that into input okay so what we are gonna do is like click on double click on tracker node and just paste it edit paste or control v yep all those tracking data is now in sellout you don't have to import or do any kind of things just click on the apply option and automatically a layer is created with the uh, tracking data just go and check the uh, timeline okay here we have some issues like first frame it will be missing so for that what i'm just going to do is like just press ctrl z and i'm gonna apply it on the first frame okay just click on apply yep now just check on the timeline it's solved so uh, now we have a layer with the tracking data now it's time for us to do the prep work which is very easy in slot so i'm renaming the layer as uh, eye tracker okay okay now i've just connected this yellow dot or yellow uh, pipe into the yellow pipe of tracker so that uh, if we come here like the layer is listed here and you can select the tracker layer so this is very handy and just click on this paint patches or paint uh, strokes and uh, just go into the settings click on this match move button always remember click on this match move button and you can click on the uh, this two options here you can even customize the frame range like uh, if you want this much for a frame range you can click on that or you can uh, uh, simply leave it if you're gonna do it full frame range just click on this tool yep now let's see okay now it took little time so now we have got the patched out area for the eyes okay i'm just uh, now i'm just tracking the paint strokes into the uh, first work range or the first frame from the clean plate so also we can use like custom okay so uh, i have done some mistake it's not the first frame it's like um, our first frame is 50th frame so what i'm just gonna do is like uh, till the stroke to frame now i'm just clicking like 50 to 55 okay now let's see okay just click on this paint strokes and yep okay now the yep now everything is done let's play and see how it is coming absolutely brilliant right so now we have done the prep uh, in silot itself we don't have like we have the defocus animation everything you can see like my patch is not that much good so but also we can see the defocus animation like if your patch is correct or you are following the textures and all in your patch you will get an absolutely brilliant result like you don't have to go and tweak in nuke much only the thing like if there is any cc or any kind of things you can go in cc uh, i mean nuke and also you can for grain also you can just go into nuke and uh, do this thing if you want I, I will show you yet another method launch mocha again automatically those options will be here because you saved it before we if you want the shape to reveal out certain parts where your paint strokes should in effect click on this export shape data and export silhouette shapes copy to clipboard which is a very handy options you have a lot of other options also 
copy to clipboard save the mocha file just close it and just take a roto node we have a roto node here okay just connect that into the input okay now go to uh, roto yep just paste it or edit paste now we have got the uh, shape from exported from mocha and now imported in silot the same kind of frame range or uh, keyframes can be seen here also you can edit it here if you want so basically what we what you can do is like track a shape and get that into silot and ad adjust that in uh, silot so that your roto also will be easy you can use this roto for uh, revealing the unwanted areas in your paint out patch okay at last you can render it like take an output node and set all of the set all the properties and all and just render it out and take that into nuke for grain matching